Boruto, every time Naruto was nerfed for the plot. Naruto is one of the strongest ninja around, but his power has been nerfed on multiple occasions throughout Boruto so far. Naruto Uzumaki is the seventh Hokage of Konoha in the Boruto, Naruto Next Generation series and the strongest shinobi alive. Along with Sasuke Achiha. Known to have surpassed the human limits in the Fourth Great Ninja War, he became powerful enough to fight against the likes of Madara Achiha and even Kagaya Atsutsuki. Unfortunately, Boruto's story can hardly continue with a character as strong as Naruto around and for that reason, the writers often decide to nerf him to ensure the next generation gets to show off what they're capable of instead. 8. When Naruto lost his truth-seeking balls Thanks to the power of the six paths that Naruto received during the Fourth Great Ninja War, he gained access to nine truth-seeking balls which granted him great offensive and defensive powers. He had three of the nine at his disposal by the end of the war and could easily have retrieved the ones that he had lost as well. Surprisingly, Naruto's truth-seeking balls are nowhere to be seen in Boruto. And this weakens him by quite a good amount. Had Naruto still got access to his truth-seeking balls, his already great arsenal of jutsu would have additional sealing techniques and even the highest form of shape transformation. 7. When the new rampaged across Kanahagakure The new attacked Kanahagakure in an anime-only arc of Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. Being unleashed by Samire Keikiai, the new proved to be incredibly dangerous as it could absorb chakra to grow stronger. Naruto Uzumaki was, thus, asked to not hit it with ninjutsu in order to avoid making it stronger by accident. Strangely enough, Naruto's skills with taijutsu, which are of the highest level, could easily have dealt with the beast. And after gaining six paths powers, Naruto's hand-to-hand -hand combat is all that he needs to deal with most enemies. Still, Boruto's writers instead chose to push him to the side and let his son Boruto handle things his way. 6. When he fought Shin Uchiha along with Sasuke. Naruto Uzumaki found himself clashing with Orochimaru's experiment, Shin Uchiha, in Boruto. Although Shin was quite strong, he was nowhere near the level of the 7th Hokage. Who fought the likes of Madara Uchiha and Kagaya Atsutsuki during the war. Naruto was made to look quite weak during the fight and even received an injury from one of Shin's telekinetically controlled weapons. In the 4th Great Ninja War, Naruto was seen able to dodge light speed attacks with ease. Evidently, he was nerfed in this fight just for the enemy to look more formidable. 5. When he fought Mamashiki Atsutsuki. Naruto's first big battle in Boruto saw him join forces with Sasuke Uchiha to take on Mamashiki Atsutsuki, who had absorbed Kinshiki's powers. Although the fight wasn't too difficult for neither Naruto nor Sasuke, it would have been even easier had the Hokage not lost half of his chakra to Mamashiki shortly before the battle began. If Naruto had been at full power, the fight against Mamashiki would have been over much sooner, and fans would have got to see the full extent of his powers as well. 4. When he fought against Delta of Kara Naruto Uzumaki took Kawaki under his care shortly after he was brought to Kanahagakure by Team 7, but Kara's pursuit of him involved Delta attacking them in the training grounds of the village. The two fought an incredibly high-level battle where Naruto made use of his six paths powers to get the better of her. Once again, Naruto Uzumaki was nerfed by having them fight in the village itself. This meant he had to be extra careful and make sure Delta didn't harm the kids around him, which prevented him from going all out even more. 3. When he fought Jigen, the leader of Kara Naruto's fight against Jigen, the leader of Kara, was his biggest defeat in the entire story to date. Even with help from Sasuke, Naruto lost to the leader of Kara without even providing a decent challenge. Surprisingly, Naruto's ability to sense everything in existence using the six-path sage mode was completely neglected during this fight. 
whereas Sasuke Achiha could see Jigen's microscopic form with his Sharingan. Naruto should have been able to sense him and act accordingly. Unfortunately, he was nerfed once again and lost to Jigen miserably. 2. When he fought Ishiki Yatsutsuki Naruto Uzumaki clashed against the strongest being in the entire story, Ishiki Yatsutsuki, shortly after being defeated by Jigen. Once again, Naruto's six path sensory powers were toned down quite a lot in the fight. While Naruto could sense and counter Kagaya Atsutsuki's attacks in the Fourth Great Ninja War, he couldn't even think about retaliating against Ishiki. Ultimately, Naruto had to rely on Baryon Mode's power to deal with Ishiki, and, thankfully, he successfully managed to push Ishiki to his limits. 1. When Naruto lost Kurama after fighting Ishiki Atsutsuki. The power of Baryon Mode came at a huge price, which was Kurama's death. To defeat Ishiki Atsutsuki, Kurama burned up all his chakra to help Naruto attain a stronger power. Although the gamble paid off, Kurama's life was lost forever. Naruto Uzumaki is no longer a Jinchuriki now, and this weakens him considerably. Evidently, Naruto cannot fight against the likes of Yatsutsuki and the Kara members anymore with any hope of winning. By weakening Naruto severely, Boruto has created the perfect opportunity to throw more focus on the next generation of shinobi, who were all being outclassed by Naruto Uzumaki in their own story. <laughs>